Hey guys, it's Captain Ridge Murphy here, and today it's blowing. We're doing something a little different. We caught the fish, and now we're gonna smoke it. What better time to do this than right before Thanksgiving? We're gonna put some fish dip on the table and uh, see how it comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onion, hot sauce. Boom. One of these. Get rid of it. Garlic powder. Garlic salt. Right here. A little bit of this stuff. I need sour cream. We're out of here. Let's go. <laughs> so we got the sour cream. Now we're out of here. Now, the only reason why we put the tin foil on there is just to keep it from sticking. Some people don't like it, some people do. But what we do like to do is just slice down the middle, try and keep enough where the air is going to fly through all of them. So, building our fire, we don't want to do too much. Just enough coals to get really the keep it hot, keep it a little consistent, and just enough to keep our wood, just keep burning, smoking it out. I take a little bit, like a handful or so, throw it in there, make a little nice little mountain in there, leave the box open, leave your fire box open, put maybe one more in there, just enough to where you're keeping it hot. Cooking. So guys, the one thing I want to touch on is anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can. You just want to make sure that temperature stays under just around 200 and try and keep it consistent. So what we're doing is we're building our fire right now. We're going to let our coals get nice where they're going to be. And what we did is earlier today I took some apple juice and we're soaking some chips and some wood chunks and that way it keeps the fire down but you get the good smoky flavor from the wood. So once those coals get fired up they get nice where they're going to be at a consistent temperature we're going to close our fire we're going to put our wood in close our firebox close our firebox completely and then lay our fish on our tin foil and then we're going to be game on. So we got some coals Got some wood chunks and then we put a little bit of chips on the top. Alright guys, so our temperature is right at 250. We got it a little high just because when you put the fish on, it'll drop down a little. But we're just gonna lay it down on the tin foil. The further back, normally the better, but if you have fish, like well, there's two types of fish here. One's kingfish and one's mahi. So we're gonna put the skin down on the kingfish. The mahi, we just cut the bloodline out and put it down here. Not really worried about the fiber so much on the mahi, cause that'll help it too. Close it up and we'll see you in a couple hours.
All right, here we go, guys. It's been about two hours. Everything came out nice. Oh yeah, nice smoked chunks. Oh. Falling apart just like it's supposed to. So the first thing you want to do is shred it into little itty bitty flakes. So you just take two forks, some people use mixers, look at, oh, look at that, nice and soft and flaky. So now that you have your fish all nicely shredded and you're going to put it in a big mixing bowl. So. I'm not a big measurer, you know, I kind of just let my inner foodie get it, but I usually start out with one cup of mayo, but with olive oil. So it's better that it's olive oil based, keeps it nice and creamy. We'll do one cup and then my inner foodie will take over and we might add two cups, we'll see. So I'll dump that in there, make sure I get it all out. And then we're going to take sour cream, a cup of that in there as well, make it all kinds of saucy. If you don't like sour cream, you could also use cream cheese. I love using cream cheese. So then we're going to take my secret recipe, Chihula Chipotle hot sauce. So I just do a couple dashes all the way around. We're gonna throw in a little bit of garlic salt. It's garlic powder. Got powder. Ooh. We're gonna take a little bit of the complete seasoning. And we're gonna add a little Worcestershire. How do you pronounce that? Worcestershire. 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 Whatever, however you want to say it, as long as you put it in the dip, you're good to go. Add a little pepper. Old Bay seasoning. If you want a little bit of a spicy fish dip, I say add the extra little dashes. And then we're going to take half of a lemon. Get all that good juicy citrus in there. Oh, I'm so excited. I can smell it. So now we're just going to mix all of our good stuff. But no, we're not done yet. I got a couple a little more extra tricks up my sleeve. We're gonna add some sauteed onions. And my personal favorite, bacon. Woo! Just gonna dump all that in there. We're gonna give this an extra little toss around. Get the bacon nice in there. I like to use these because it doesn't really smush or scatter. It blends together a lot easier. All right. And now we taste. What we need to add. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving dinner, guys. Just keep going back for thirds. All right, guys. As you can see, the smoking of the fish, the making of the dip. Definitely try it out. It's um, so good. It's really good. Make yourself some fish dip and everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.